Oh, hi, Nancy. And then with Joe, thing. he's like the outside. And Very he's good. the reason why the car is running. Oh, because, okay. Because um, it's needed a lot of work. It was overheating. It had big oh. Did you um, build this car? This car, uh, no. But we've had to work it's on the not, engine no, to keep it running. A, right. And we had to rewire the whole thing. Okay, was it originally a police car? It wasn't a police car fully marked. But okay. it was used in the police force as a detective car. Right. It was originally powder blue uh -huh. with a black vinyl roof. Oh, jeez. And then a father-son team bought it and fixed it up to this Adam 12 theme. So when we got it, it had the light bar and the insignia, uh -huh. and it had the painting. But we had to fix the engine so it would run because it yeah. was overheating, and we had to rewire the whole thing. Oh, my gosh. So now it's working. It's been about a year. Yeah. We've been to Maryland, Connecticut, um, uh, PA now, uh -huh. New Jersey. We've been all over with it. That's great. Connecticut. Well, you say Connecticut. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. This is really cool. Thank now, you. what inspired you to go in? Uh, you like the Adam 12? Thing? Well, actually, when I met Joe uh -huh. back in 2011, he had a police car, which he still has. Right. Two barrel engine. Oh, the food is ready. Good. Uh, we'll be right there. We're getting videotaped. Beautiful. Give you an interview. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Ron. Hi, Let's Ron. Just, our potsy saying, potsy yes. saying, there's food ready. So of anyway, course. um, when we got the car, it was already fixed up to this Adam 12 theme, mm -hmm. but we had to do a lot to the engine to keep it running because the 73 engine and today's gas does they don't meet, they don't uh, match, they don't work together. Yeah. So luckily, Joe's an auto mechanic. Good. So for 30 years by trade, that's what he does for a living. So. He's worked on the engine for a while to upgrade it. So now he put in, like when I start the engine, yeah. uh, first I push a switch to turn on um, a fuel pump. Fuel pump, and right? The whole time so that the fuel is staying cool. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a lot of other things he did too. I see. He's got the high rise manifold on there. Yes. He's got the double pumper carburetor. Oh my gosh, that's one heavy duty radiator. I love it. That is great. I see the wiring you did. Yes. That's a lot. around and absorb everything. That's Little Reed. We call the pedal car Little Reed. Oh, that's great. We brought it today because, you know, we had to bring our A-game. Of course. Very good. This is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Got the belts, the whole bit. Wow. Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? This is great. Oh my gosh. That is too cool. Wow. That's the radio, folks. That's what they look like way back when. Oh, this is fantastic. Fantastic. Oh my gosh. And of course, the sign photo. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Now, of course, they used to also a rambler. But this is too cool. This is really special. Oh, this is great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2022 Chrysler Nationals over here in beautiful Uptown Carlisle. For more cool events like this, make sure you check your car show calendars. NortheastWheelsEvents.com SoutheastWheelsEvents.com UKWheelsEvents.com And while you're there, post to share your events. I'll see you at the show, and remember to protect and serve. Yes.